All right, folks, we have a beautiful chair here. We have a Permobil M3 in blue color. This one has 41 miles. It was used for about two months, okay? So if a person uses their power chair daily, they'll put about 25 miles a month, 300 miles a year. So it has 41 miles, so probably less than two months. Uh, so this power chair is fully loaded. It has all kinds of custom stuff on it. It has the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet. So folks, all the functions can be worked through the joystick, but I like to use the little quick switch box back here. It's quicker for me. So the first button is the seat lift. So if I push that, the seat lift will start going up, okay? So the seat lift will start at 22 when you're down, and if you add your 12 inches, you'll be at 34 inches. The nice thing about this, when the seat is all the way up to 32 inches, <clears throat> you can still drive the chair, okay? So now the chair is a little bit, look at that, the seat's elevated and you can still drive the chair, which is very nice. Let's look at the base on this chair, folks, since we have it elevated so we can see the base better. So you can see it's, 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 someone wants to help me. It's six wheels on the ground, 14 inch solid wheels here, caster wheels in the front, caster wheels in the back, okay? You have, you have suspension right here and you can see if I push down, you can see the suspension working in the back, okay? This chair, folks, weighs 400 to 450 pounds. So with the weight of the user and the chair weights like 600 pounds, this is why you're getting such an air ride, almost like a cushion ride. It's just an incredible ride. Plus it's a permobile. It's the highest quality you can get, okay? You have an anchor point here, another anchor point here. You have four of these all around the chair to secure your chair for transportation, okay? I wanna show you something else, folks. The motors on this chair, if you look at the front of the chair, you see these cylinders right here? That's the front of your motors. These round motors go from here directly to the wheel. From here, no chain, no belt, everything is direct drive, no, no maintenance, okay? So let's just say you had this chair and five years from now you have an issue and you need to push the chair. How would you push this chair? It weighs 450 pounds. Well, you would just turn the power off. Turn the power off. And the reason you want the power off, you want no resistance in the motor. Power off. You see this little reflector? Right here, there's a little handle. You see how it moves? Push it in. Same thing on this side. Push it in. Let's see if I can turn it around. Look at this, folks. Now you're in neutral. There's that 450 pound chair in neutral. Okay? When you're done, do yourself a favor. Put him back in gear. Even if your chair's broken, put him back in gear. I have so many people call me during the daytime. Their chair's not working. They all they have to do is put it back in gear, turn the power back on, and they're back ready to go. Okay? So there's your motors, folks. Um, <clears throat> so let's bring the chair back over here. Let's turn the power on. We'll give it a second to reset. There we go. Let's put it over here. All right, so now we've done the seat lift. So let's bring the seat lift back down. So while the seat lift is going down, as I see, there's a swing away joystick here, okay? It is a swing away joystick. It's sitting too close to the arm. All right, so there is a swing away joystick. It's sitting too close, it's hitting the box, but you can bring the joystick all the way over here. So this enables you to get to all the way up to here to a dining table, folks, okay? Instead of having to do this when you get to a dining table. So it does have a swing away joystick. If you're left-handed, we can put the joystick on the left, it'll swing to the left. The next function I'm gonna show you is called the electric tilt. The electric tilt is when the base right here goes back. Of course, it's, if it's, this is going out, going back, it's going to take the legs, it's going to take the back, they're all connected. This is good if you want to relieve pressure off your back, off your bottom, off your back. You just want to relax. Or you want to have circulation in your feet. So if you want to have circulation in your feet, what you would do next is put your legs up in the air. Now, this is going to be the extreme position. You're not going to, most, most people are not going to go this far up with their... Uh, but let me show you something, folks. Now, it doesn't matter if you're six foot tall, five foot tall, six foot three, we can adjust these legs longer, we can make all that adjustable, okay? But you see this, folks? Wow, your feet would be up in the air. But even if you're halfway tilted, let's bring the seat halfway tilted. This is halfway tilted, your feet, would still be higher than your body, okay? Your legs. 
So let's bring it all the way down. So we've covered so far the seat lift, the tilt, the recline, the legs. Well, we didn't do the recline. The recline is going to be right now. So the recline is when the back right here goes back by itself. So right now, nothing's moving, but the back is going back, okay? Can you see that? So let me put it this way so you can see it better. So the back is going back. And we'll see how far back it's going to go. There we go. So this is how far back it would be. So you're laying flat. All right. So let's bring the back back up. Let's bring the legs back down. <clears throat> I'm doing two buttons at once here. You can do the same thing through the joystick with one button. Now I'm going to bring the legs all the way in so you can see what it's going to look like in your house if you turn in a circle in your house. So I'm, going to bring, I'm not going to leave them out like that. That's for outside. But I'm going to bring them all the way in. And... Okay, are they all the way in? Yep. So if you're in the house, this is what your turning circle would be. Turning radius, look at that. Pretty much turn on itself. I can, I can stand all day long right here and not move an inch. Right there, that chair will turn all day long in the same circle. All right, let's look at the chair a little bit more. As you can see, there is a bag on here, but also these are gel arm folks. These are very expensive. It's already on this chair, this is custom. Gel arms on both sides, folks. Okay. You have a fully adjustable headrest, folks. Fully adjustable headrest. Huge padded headrest. So if you like comfort, like a like a pillow headrest, this is an upgrade. This is a custom headrest. You also have with this chair a single foot plate. So when you flip this, it's just one foot plate. It's not two individual one. And it has guards on each side right here, so to keep your feet inside the foot plate. So when you have your feet here, there's a guard to keep your foot from, from coming off. Okay? This is a little, that's a little different. That's custom also. And the nice thing you have on this chair, folks, look at this. You have the factory headlights. And you also have, of course, the flashers. You have left flasher. You have right flasher. Also back here, folks, when we ship these chairs, right here with the reflector is right inside of here where my fingers are at right now, right here, there's a breaker. We always turn the power off when we ship this. So you'd have to switch that breaker back on to receive your power on your chair, okay? We always do that when we ship these chairs so nothing happens in transit, okay? The seat on this chair is 20 by 18. Now, as I said, everything is adjustable in this chair. So if this is too small, too big, we can, take, we can take this cushion right off. We can expand these railings out or in, change to a smaller, larger cushion, adjust the arm, expand the, we can do all that right here. So if this is the chair you want, if it's not sized up the way you want it here, just let us know. We have a pile of cushion and a pile of seats we can work with. All right, so we're gonna turn the lights off. And I think we've covered everything else. I want to show you one more thing that I forgot to show you earlier. Let's just say you have someone who has trouble getting out of their chair. I'm going to raise the seat halfway up. Okay? I'm going to put the foot plate up. So you have a person who has trouble getting out of their chair. Okay? Seat's elevated. Scoot over. Folks, look at that. You can go higher and there's no pushing. That's how easy it would be to get out of this chair. <clears throat> so remember I said leave the legs out when you're outside. Like that. We're going to bring this seat back down. Then we're going to go to the charger. I think I've covered everything on this chair. There we go. When you charge this chair, you'll take your Permobil charger. We'll use this one for example right now. It plugs right here. And as soon as you, um, as soon as the light goes to full or to green, the charger will shut itself down. The charger will not overcharge these chairs. These are smart chargers. So let's recap. What do we have here? We have a Permobil M3 power chair. Blue in color, practically brand new. It has the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet. It has the gel arm. It has a swing away joystick, which is on there, but it's too close. We have to move it. 
a bag, adjustable comfort custom headrest, the headlights from the factory, the suspension, which is incredible, solid tires all the way around. Maximum weight of a user on this chair is 300 pounds. So this is the, cap the top capability is 300 pounds. Top distance on a battery charge is up to 15 miles. That's up to 15 miles. If you, do, if you go fast, if you're outside uphill, you're not going to get 15 miles, okay? It all, the mileage varies for everybody. But this is a beautiful Permobil M3 ready to go. All right, this is the Permobil M3 power chair. This is a fast power chair. I didn't realize how fast it was. I got 6.3 miles an hour, 6.3 miles an hour top speed. When you let go of the joystick, it stops automatically because it has built-in brakes on the motors. Uh, so even though it's stopped right now, I'm still on, but it's, it's in gear. So you could stop this in the middle of a hill and not roll down. You can feel when you, when you're a chair like this, it's such a high quality chair, you can feel the ride is different than most chairs. So you can see how easy it went through the grass. Now, I, as long as you have a good bottom in your grass, it's not soft or sandy, you should have any problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to elevate the seat right now so you can see me driving the chair with the seat elevated. Remember, if you drive this chair with the seat elevated, do it on flat, flat surface, nothing bumpy, okay? Um, also, this chair has 41 miles, practically new. It has a seat lift, the tilt, the recline, the legs, fully loaded, the gel arms, the light package. <clears throat> So this is the chair with the chair elevated. So top speed is 3.3 miles an hour. So 3.3 miles an hour is the top speed with the seat elevated. So if you're looking for a nice chair, fully loaded with 41 miles, six wheels on the ground, permobile, this would be a nice one. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.